Hi. Introductory sentence. Moving on. Pixar is famous for putting hidden Easter eggs in their movies, and one of them is. Okay, w wait. So Pixar is actually famous for making movies that are heartfelt and funny and enjoyed by both children and adults, and they look amazing, and they're great. That's what they're famous for. But they also put Easter eggs in their movies. Many characters from other films will pop up, and the Toy Story Pizza Planet truck is in the background of every one of their films. This spawned a fan theory that encompasses the entire Pixar universe. It was actually developed in an episode of our very own After Hours. All of Pixar's movies are in the same universe, and they're building a timeline for the robot apocalypse. Later made famous by somebody else. But today, I'd like to talk to you about a specific Easter egg from Toy Story 3, the hidden hero of the Toy Story trilogy. Now, towards the end of the film, we see a garbage man having a amazing time just picking up garbage. This is Sid Phillips, the villain from the first movie. You know, the one who blew up toys and then Frankenstein them back together and had that smile and was just generally a piece of And here he is in all his comeuppance glory. And yet he's happy. Why is that? Well, of all three movies, Sid is the only human being who knows that toys are alive. Here are some adorable, fun-loving toys scaring the shit out of a little boy. <laughs> Sid didn't mess with toys because he's a sadist who wanted to hurt things. He did it because he was a lonely kid with an active imagination and no friends and not a great home life. To him, until this point, they were just toys. He's not the bad guy here, he just stood in the way of the protagonists. There's Probably even a word for that. So Sid learns that the toys he's been torturing are alive. All toys are alive. That's, that's up. So he probably needs a little time to like figure things out. Like a whole movie's worth of time because he's not in Toy Story 2. And what's Toy Story 2 about? Aside from loss and love and growing up and friendship and cowboys, it's about fixing things. Cleaning and fixing broken toys. Though Sid isn't in this movie, he's mirrored within it. Elsewhere, in between therapy sessions, Sid is perfecting his ability to fix toys. He already had a pretty good head start when he was this guy. And now, here he is, a garbage man in Toy Story 3. And what's Toy Story 3 about? Well, aside from loss and love and growing up and friendship and mean old bears, it's about sanctuary, a safe haven for toys, but the real sanctuary, it's at Sid's home. Because as a garbage man, he's been snatching up broken or unwanted toys from people's trash, cleaning and fixing them, and giving them a safe home at his farm where toys can jump and play and chase rabbits and continue being alive. It's probably where Bo Peep ended up. Because Sid knows, and is the only human who knows, that every single toy is alive. He knows that if he doesn't save toys from the trash, this is what they're in for. Oh fun! A children's movie where all of the characters accept their own deaths. But look at this entire sequence at the garbage dump and incinerator. We're there for like 20 minutes, and where is any other toy? In the entire series, wherever we are, random toys pop up to say hi, because every toy is alive. And yet, at this enormous facility full of garbage, not one single toy walks up to our heroes and says, hey, can I come too? I also do not wish to die here because there are none. All of the toys have been saved by Sid, our hero, our brace-faced, mean, possibly unstable, just piece of shit hero. Fan theories! <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to click the button that looks like a thumb pointing up and the word that says subscribe and leave a comment that has your own theory about why like Andy is actually the villain from Toy Story. It's probably something there, I don't know. Take stuff out of context, it doesn't matter.